So now we are going to look at a, a couple of resistors wired as a voltage divider. So if you're looking at different circuits, sometimes you'll see, uh, usually it's a couple of resistors here that are across the uh, power supply. And um, there's also a trim pot, which is a variable form of this, but we're not going to get into that. A potentiometer, same thing as a trim pot. So in any case, uh, we got 12 volts across these two resistors. And uh, we're interested in this point where they connect. You get a fraction of the uh, voltage. So first, let's talk about the current that's going to flow through this. Um, we have that uh, voltage out that you can see there. That's not to power something. It's just a reference voltage. That's why I have this jumper. This jumper is not connected to anything uh, right now. We are going to uh, throw off that voltage. It's really easy to do. So um, this would just be a reference voltage. In this case, we're going to measure it with the multimeter. We'll see that the multimeter says it's 6 volts. The multimeter doesn't really take any current. Otherwise, I would throw it off. Just a little bit leaks through. Um, but for the most part, we should get a solid, uh, accurate voltage uh, measurement right there with the multimeter. So we have 2,000 ohms of resistance total because they are in series between the uh, supplies there. So um, we got 12 volts divided by 2,000 ohms of resistance, about 6 milliamps of current, which uh, I plan to measure right there. Now, that uh, 6 milliamps of current going through them, that's it's series. Current is the same through series components. But when you got 6 milliamps of current going through a 1,000 ohm resistor, you take that uh, 6 milliamps, which is 0 0.006 amps, always do the math in amps when you're doing Ohm's Law. And then uh, you times that by a thousand ohms will tell you the voltage across the resistor. It'll be six volts. And uh, we'll look at that later. So six volts across each resistor. This point is considered, that's considered zero volts. We got six volts across it. So that's considered six volts in relationship to ground. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but again, that's not to power a load. We're going to add a load there to show how easy it is to throw it off. So I got the uh, multimeter here and uh, the power supply. We got 12 volts and that's probably uh, on the edge of uh, 6 milliamps. It, it went lower if I bumped this, it kind of shuts this off briefly. Um, so that's probably like 5.9 milliamps or something. This isn't as accurate as the multimeter anyways. So we'll uh, come over here and uh, I'll set this down. So. We just have to set this to V for this particular one. If there's numbers, set it to a voltage uh, number higher than you're going to measure. I don't have to move the red probe for anything other than high current. So more than like half of an amp of current, I would have to uh, move that if we were measuring current. But uh, we're not going to do that in this video. So again, we got about 12 volts at the supply. Of course, it's not going to be perfect right there. We got a little bit of resistance in the wires and stuff. And that may not output an exact 5 volts either. So you can see this says it's slightly lower, but that's practically 12 right there. And as I said before, across that resistor, we will have uh, 12 or 6 volts. I mean, half of the supply voltage. It's going to split it in half. 6 volts, I meant. And same with that one. 6 volts across that one. Uh, but when it comes to a uh, voltage divider output, that's where they connect together in relationship to ground. So we got... Uh, six volts and as i said before if you ask it to deliver current so that's what we're going to do now that voltage divider now is lighting the led so i'm going to go to ground again and go to where that resistor is where the resistors connect now you can see it's only three volts because that's what builds up across the blue led when you set current through it and uh so the current's going through that resistor and then the LED, so it is protected um, from current. Um, so it's not a supply voltage, it's a reference uh, voltage, which uh, makes more sense when you study circuits that use a reference voltage. So again, we have that LED there, so the voltage is getting thrown off because it's drawing current. I'll try to hold the meter in place, pluck the LED, and uh, you can see it went back to six volts. Um, but there we go. I'm measuring that same spot I was before. We're up to six. So drawing current will throw it off. It's not intended for that. It's just a voltage for other circuitry to see. And again, trying to explain how that is useful is uh, not, not easy to do. Most people don't understand 
how that reference voltage makes sense until they see circuitry that uses it. So if you just want half the supply voltage, they just have to be equal value resistors. Usually you'll see 10,000 ohms uh, and uh, you know maybe other values too. Um, but uh, it won't be thrown off as much with lower value resistors. So if your resistance is just a little bit too high, then you could go lower in value in resistance. Depends on how much something's trying to throw off uh, that voltage, how much current it needs. And uh, so I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.